Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm back on the Long Case Edison Home Motor, and I'm going to talk about the oiling and adjustment. When you put the mo everything together, and then you have to put the four screws in, you want to put one screw in here, and you oil the tip, and then the other screw back over here. Then you're going to come over and put this screw in, and then you're going to put the other screw in here. Then you're going to start tightening down. You want to put them in, but leave them loose. Then you will tighten this screw down, go across to this screw, and then whatever you want to do, you can go to this one or that one, and then you tighten the other two down. Make sure that you oiled the pinion shafts in here and in here, like I've talked about right here, where the shaft goes through right where the sp spring barrel shaft goes through and then you want to put a little STP down in here on pre-assembly. Now since we have a few things on the motor out for nickel work I'm using an 832 screw for speed adjustment right here but you can put your speed adjustment in on this assembly because we're going to do a few things first. First of all you know I always talk about flex honing well you see the governor see how I can move the governor like this back and forth with my fingers very easily. Now what you want to do is you want to line up the governor drive gear to right here, the little gear to the big gear. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take this and get it to where it is right in the middle like that. You see how I aligned the little gear to the big gear? Now you just bumped it. Oh, I bumped it. Oh, no. Okay. Pop this over right there. Now what you're going to do, you'll lock this bearing down. Then you'll come over and you will move this bearing in. Just get a little bit of play like that and you'll lock that down. Now that's all set. Now, on oiling, you will oil all the bearing holes, like here, on the back, both sides with sewing machine oil. All the way around. Now, on brass to steel, you want to use th this. And you, where can you get that? I get this off Amazon. You're going to use a little Starbucks stopper. What you're going to do is turn the motor on, and you'll dip you'll dip this in, and then you'll coat this like this while it's running. And then you'll come back and do the one back here because that one's aluminum. Okay, we're going to do that now. What we're going to do is we're going to put, because this gear runs real faster than this brass gear, and this is steel to steel, we're going to run STP because it's going to stay onto the gear, and it's also going to quiet the noise down on the machine. And that's all you have to do. Now what you do... You said this is steel? This is brass to steel here on oh, this okay. one. On that's the drive nice. gear of the governor. I, I run STP because it makes it run quieter. I've tried this, but it still has the, the gear noise, and this, the STP works better on this. But on these slow speed gears, like this gear, this brass to brass, and then the one we put in here, the 661 aluminum one, you want to use this huddy graphite grease. Now that you've got everything done, You've semi-adjusted the speed, and everything's done. What you're going to do give it a few cranks, and there we go. You want to give it a couple of cranks, and you're going, oh, dyslexic genius. It's so noisy. No, it's not. Now what you're going to do is look at the motor. And you're going to 
put oil now on the governor felt. You're going to do this side because it's going to pull the oil around and hit the other side. And I'll show you a trick with the STP. Had an old phonograph friend in the shop, old school, everything has to be Edison, and I said, watch this on your home. You can hear it whining. Oh, you hear that? You hear that get quieter? You just put a little on there. Now it's dead silent. And that's what the STP does on this gear to this gear. Now, what I'll do off camera, because it takes a while, I will go in with the Moody. I'll do this one right here. You just use the same Starbucks stopper. Stir it up a little. Love this stuff. And we're going to coat that gear. Just like that. I'm showing you how to do a gear. So you're going to coat it. You want to do the back side where the gear is spinning around. And now this won't. And we haven't done a full crank on the motor yet. You see how that's lubing? Because what happens is people coat all this stuff with oil and grease and then it gets all over everything. You want to keep everything clean. And now you can hear it again. It's running dead silent. Once we put it on the motor, you're not hearing the, the governor drive gear on the governor making that sound. It's much quieter. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and that's my tip for the day.